Okay, I'm gonna work on the boom chain inquiry problems. And the first one we have is, uh, here's like a wall. And uh, coming out from the wall is what we call the boom, a piece of metal or a piece of wood. And uh, then there's a chain that comes down to the end of this. And then on the end is like some kind of a sign or something, um, some big weight. And this is gonna be 1730 Newtons. Now the boom actually has some weight too. And so the boom is a, a uniform mass. So we're gonna put the boom right in the, or the boom weight right in the middle. And it happens to be 762 in this problem. So um, this angle here is 37 degrees. Okay, so uh, basically this whole thing's in static equilibrium. We're, not, we're trying to figure out what is the force that's in this chain is one of the things we need to figure out. And the other thing is what forces, what forces are happening over here with the wall working out on the boom? If this wall was taken apart, this whole thing would crash down this way. And so we know that the wall is exerting some kind of force out here pushing out the boom. Um, if, there was, if the boom had no mass at all right here, then actually the wall would be pushing directly out on the boom. But what's actually happening is this, this pushing down here, this, this boom's kind of scraping down along the wall. And so if there's enough friction working you know, against that movement, um, it would keep it in place. So there is actually over here, the, the wall is kind of pushing uh, up and down the boom. So I can add those two together. And so the wall is actually always pushing up at the boom at kind of like an angle like this. Okay, so that's kind of messy over here. And um, so we'll, we'll look at that later. Right now, we're gonna go ahead and erase that stuff again. Okay, and the first uh, thing you do is we got a force going down, we got a force going down here, and the chain is actually pulling up, you know, this way on this, on this point. So this is not uh, up and down and left and right. So we're gonna always take the chain and we're going to turn it into an up and then an over. Okay, and then we can get this angle here instead. So this is 53 degrees. And uh, what we need to do first is we need to actually uh, find, find some torques. And you're gonna do all boom chain problems exactly the same way. You're gonna go to where the boom is attached to the wall. And that's gonna be your reference point. And the reason we wanna use that as a reference point is because remember I said there's some forces working out here. We don't know what any of them are and it's a big mess. So if I measure from here, I don't have to worry about any of those because those are not gonna be providing any torque at all. So I'm gonna balance all the torque around this. So um, if I come out this far times 762, I'd have a torque going that way clockwise. And how far out is this? Well, we can just say it's half of the boom weight. So I'm gonna do 0 0.5 times 762 and then plus uh, one times 1730 so halfway times this plus one times this, that'd be all clockwise torques. That should equal this force here, this force here times one. That's gonna go up around this way. And this, this up here is not providing any torque. This is just going this back and forth. I need perpendicular forces on this boom. So half of this plus all of this should equal all of this. That should equal F times one. So I can figure that out. 0.5 times 762 plus 1730. And this force right here is gonna be 2111. Okay, so that, um, after we get that, and that's how you always get it, by the way, you just always measure the torques around the point at the wall, and then you can get this. And once you get this, a lot of things can fall into place here. Because if I have this and an angle, I can get this over here opposite over adjacent is tangent. So I can do tangent of 53 would equal, we'll call it this F, F over 2111. So I'm gonna take 2111 times 53 tangent. And this up here is gonna be 2801. And once you have both of these sides in this right triangle, you can easily get the chain force, which is the first thing we're always trying to figure out. I can use Pythagorean's theorem here. So I'm going to square that plus two one 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 squared uh, square root, and I get a thirty five o eight. And you can check that answer on the website, and you'll see that that is the force in the chain. So that's always part one. Try to figure out what the force is in the chain. OK, 
Okay, the other thing is to figure out all the forces working out over here. So now if you look at everything, I can do ups, downs, and I can do lefts, rights. Now see, normally in most of our problems, we did lefts, rights, and up, down tables first, but in boom change, you always do the torques first around this. And then you figure out everything else. And now you can kind of do a list of all your ups and downs and lefts and rights. So for down, I have 762 and I have a 1730 right here and here. Okay. And up, I have 21111. Okay. And then for lefts and rights, for left up here, I have 2801. And there are no right forces here. Okay. So what does that mean? I need it means I need, and I remember over here, what's gonna be really happening is there's gonna be a force going to the right, the wall is gonna push out on the boom, but the friction of the wall is actually kind of pushing up on the boom. So there's an up and there's a right, which is great because that's exactly what I need. I need uh, 2801 right to balance out that one, that one going left. So this is 2801. How much up do I need? Well, let's add these up. I got uh, 294, one, two, four, nine, two, two, four, nine, two minus two, one, one, one equals, I need 381 up. So that is this right here. Okay, so there's always gonna be an up force and a, and a right force over here with a wall working on the boom. Okay, so I'm just trying to turn it into a boom chain robot. So I, what I'm going to do though, is I'm going to take, I'm going to add tail of the first to the head of the second and figure out here's my actual boom force that I want. So I'm going to use Pythagorean's theorem there, plus 2801 squared, square root. And I get a boom force here of 2827. Okay. So the chain, the chain was 3508 Newtons and the boom is 2827 Newtons. And what you have to tell me though, is you have to tell me what's this angle in here. Technically, I always extend the boom out and then I figure out what's the angle between the extended boom and the boom force coming in here. So I want this angle here and the tangent of that angle would be 381 over 2801. So 381 divided by 2801 inverse tangent is 7.7 .7 degrees. So there's all your answers for solving this boom chain problem. You got the chain and you got the boom.